Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Souls 3. So we did our main playthrough, we did our new game plus playthrough, and co-op still editing in progress, but uh, you know, you gotta have a character set up for these kinds of things. So for my new game playthrough of the new DLC, I made a new character. So we'll say hello to Kido, I believe the name, yeah, Kindo. I'm always surprised by how quickly you can get through this game, by the way. So like, we're like nine hours in. And that's with idle time, so I'm actually surprised by how quickly you can get through this game. It always catches me off guard because I'm so thorough and exploration based and listening to dialogue that like when I'm just going through and just trying to beat bosses and level up, I'm always caught off guard by how quickly you can get through these games after all, which is always a surprise. So, I got the Hollow Slower the Hollow Slayer Greatsword, and I've got most of the mirror set with the uh, Herald Helm. That's our, our basic setup today. Changed the weapon, got tired of people complaining about the last weapon, which I switched to after I got tired of people complaining about the last weapon, and so on and so forth, so... I look forward to you guys making me sick of this weapon, too. <laughs> I'll show you my build in a second. I've already clicked on this, so we'll get to where I believe it's supposed to be in... the... No, over here. There we go. Cleansing Chapel. The game almost feels quaint when you're when you're rushing through it. You're like, oh yeah, I'm already here. Just ah, merciful goddess, mother of the forlorn, who have no place to call their own. Please bear witness to our resolve. Fire for Ariandel. Fire for Ariandel. And the ash to kindle flame. Well, that's convenient. I immediately know that it's called Ari Ariandel now. I know I know the pronunciation immediately. Awful convenient. So here's my stats for the new character, so people can keep up. Uh, so. Strength and Dex are both built, Vigor's built, uh, Dex is highest because Hollow Slayer uh, scales more with Dex than Strength. I stopped at level 70 specifically because the best references I could find said that this is a DLC recommended for level 70 for experienced players and level 80 for inexperienced players. That's... You gotta go with something, so that's the information I went with. I have al I've almost finished the Estuses, I'm at 14 plus 8, which is enough-ish. I only made it as far as Dancer, and then I also beat uh, Osiris and Eodex, so I haven't I haven't been through any of the actual castle yet, so that's why I don't have that stuff finished off. But largely happy with this stuff. I like I really like how the Hollow Slayer Greatsword looks, by the way. It's a giant. It's a greatsword that has the same basic move set that you'd expect from like the uh, Claymore, which special part of my heart, because the Claymore is the weapon that got me through the first Dark Souls from my, on my first playthrough, up until I switched to a spear at some point. Like, the, it was the it was the weapon the, that the game finally clicked for me with, with when I had been struggling up until now. Also has a, fu a fun weapon art. So that's, that, that could be some amusement there. And right now I have the Shield of Want, which lets me use weapon arts without actually going into two hand mode. I could switch to a parry shield if I feel the need to. I already have applicable ones sitting around in here. Wait, you've... you've the same scent as that woman. Then you must be an action one. You must be. Oh. You don't know how long I've searched. Oh, 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 don't mind me, didn't mean to fall apart. <laughs> now, Ashen One, I have a kindness to ask of you. My lady lives in the cold land of Ariandel. I need you to show her flame. A proper flame that will burn the rot away. If you truly are Ash, then it must be fire that you seek. Ah, thank you. 
bay of ash never fail. Just a moment, then. The painting of Ariandel. Well, rotted scrap of it, that is. Go on. Take it. black and white oh nope there's some color here hello nightmare behind me so you gotta wonder if this is gonna be related to the painted world from the first well not first game from uh, Dark Souls 1 I guess that's the first game if you don't count Demon Souls because it could be a weird aged mutation of it if, if you think about it or it could be something completely different using the same magic or technology <sighs> Does he have glasses on? He might have glasses on. Huh. But yeah, we've, we've dealt with the concept of like Drang weapons from Drang Lake and the uh, change from Lordran to Londo, I believe, if I remember correctly. Like a lot of world words have been warped over time, so this could be a shifted memory of the same location. Let's look at him a little bit. He's got bird legs. Yeah. It points as being a similar situation. For sure, he could be even a member of the same group of people. Ah. 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 Have you just arrived? How very unusual. Just how long has it been? Rejoice, my new friend. For this is a true haven of the forlorn. The cold and gentle painted world of Ariandel. Quick, go along. Find one for yourself. A sweetly rotting bed to lie upon. Ah, ah, yes, of course. You're no exception. We've all seen terrible things. But you're safe now. Let it ease your burden. Ariandel will make a fine home for you. So, go on ahead. Find one for yourself. A sweetly rotting bed to lie upon. So what is he lying on exactly? Are those maggot-like creatures of some kind? They look worm-like, but they're also growing out of the walls and not moving, which is a strange sight. Quick! Go along! Find one for yourself. A sweetly rotting bed to lie upon. So that's about all we're gonna get from him then. I wonder if he's hinting at something. It's possible that if I move forward I might be in some kind of danger and I might have to go into these kinds of plants to evade it. Or it's just some sort of weird, vaguely religious thing with, that they like to play around with, like the wax heads and stuff like that. A lot of groups get obsessed over things. Bonfire head, but let there be death. The painted world of Ariandel. Oh, it's, it's snowing, it's blizzarding. That's concerning. I don't trust you. No? Alright. So this isn't the death then. The bonfire is lit and safe. First thing to test. Can you travel? All of the other locations are showing up on here, so that's a bit different from the painted world that we previously encountered already. Let's go to the cleansing chapel. Let's see if there's any more dialogue with that guy. If I, if I come back. I'm curious about that. But if I remember correctly, and it's probably it's probably it's probably because you couldn't teleport at that time. If I remember correctly, uh, in Dark Souls One, you were kind of stuck in the painted world, and he's gone. Spooky. He trapped us. So since we've been able to visit locations from Dark Souls One in particular throughout this game, it's it stands to reason that perhaps that the scrap of painting we've encountered here is a scrap of the very same painting from before. 
but its contents may have been warped because as he even says it's a he had all he had was like a rotten warped fragment of it weird how the snow doesn't load in at, at first my very own home now <sighs> that was odd is, it this, is that him back here Getting new dialogue when I warp in or something? Quick. Nope. Nothing new there, at least. Alright. So I'm apprehensive about this because this was the... Th this reminds me of the third DLC from the second game. And that was... The part that looked like this in particular was the worst part of any Dark Souls game, in my opinion. And I had a terrible, terrible experience. But I'll have faith in them. So I'm first tempted to hug a wall. This place is huge. Oh. Hi. Oh, there's two of you. Okay, let's not... Okay, never mind. There's three of you. I've already attracted additional attention, whether I liked it or not. Murder! Oh my god. Was that, was that critical damage because I knocked the sword away? Oh. I take it these are hollows, then. That's a, that's a big chunk of damage. Alright. So the trash mobs around here do not pose an immediate threat. Yeah. <laughs> Throw that sword away. Give me that Lords of the Fallen vibe of tossing people's shields aside. There we go. Oh, where's that? I hear you. I missed you, Claymore. Except not quite Claymore. Claymore with a cool leather grip on the shoulder. I like that visual design. It's sort of thrown on there and then it uh, it justifies always being held on the shoulder and stuff like that. Although, of course, you're armored too. And also, big heavy swords. This is like, what's woman shaped? Yeah. Oh, interesting. It looks signif- it looks a whole lot like those weird spider monsters that had like that gaping demon thing going on where their chest would open. That we saw in, uh, what we now know to be the outskirts of New Londo, which is the Irithil, the Irithil Valley. I'm sorry, uh, Anor Londo, not, not New Londo. This one's on fire. Dare I? Nope. Nothing happens. Quite something ahead. Oh. Is that a cliff? Hi! No! Okay. Just block. Block and be ready. Okay. Oh, that wasn't a very big fall at all. It was just a surprise because the whole thing collapses. You bastard! <laughs> 2,000 appraisals. Yeah, I'll give it to you. There you go. That's fitting. I, have, I don't know if I've ever seen the gold medallion before. I briefly mistook it for a mod message, but it's just a message that's significantly praised. I'm gonna keep hugging walls for a bit just to try to get an idea of this place. It's really open. Keep an eye out for enemies and surprises. Hi! Uh... Okay. Do you fight anything like Sif? I mean, you don't have a sword, so you can't, can you? Can't we just get along? Oh. Look at him! He's doing the whole side-strafing intimidation growls you expect from a wolf character. I don't think I can ignore him, though, can I? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Surprisingly, you'd be, you'd be, you'd think you'd be worried about wolves, but, uh... Oh, my God. Okay, the pack is scary. But, uh, th there are no dogs in that they don't seem to be very fast and smashy with their attacks. I just want to keep my distance so they hopefully make the mistake of coming at me one at a time. Oh, this is weird. This is an enemy behavior that hasn't really happened before, I don't think. They're actually, they're trying to circle and, and wait for an opening. Do they attack if I turn away? Yeah, they do! I, could be a coincidence, but they might have, it might have actually been scripted to attack when I turned away. Because the whole point of circling is to try to find an opening. The, whoa, this is bizarre. 
So bosses, oh god. Okay. So bosses tend to be aggressive because they think they're more powerful than you. But normal enemies tend to be stupid aggressive because they're hollow and don't care about living. These are just wolves. <laughs> These are just actual wolves that don't want to die but also need to hunt. So they're cautious and careful and conniving and... Wow, okay. Kudos from software. I'm a little super Although I would kind of expect them to back off after a few of them go down. That part's maybe not quite as believable. I don't know a lot about wolves, <laughs> to be honest. But it seems like at some point, after a few deaths, you maybe would no longer see somebody as being reasonable prey. Well, that was neat. All right. That's a, that's a relatively cool wolf encounter for by most game standards, really. Also, an interesting augmentation on what has so far been one of the most annoying enemies in the entirety of uh, Souls games is the hyper-aggressive dogs that dive past your attacks and are faster than any pretty much any animation in the game and just ruin you. That seems like it might be the return path. So we'll keep that in mind. Should I be worried about this collapsing? There's no messages on the floor, which I would expect to be—I would expect to see messages around, indicating that hey, don't go over there. Everyone's gonna—you're gonna die. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay, let's get rid of you first. Ah. Uh, hi, giant wolf. Oh. Is there another one next to me? Thought I heard another one. Okay, I thought we were over. I thought we were done here. Hi, big guy. You're not really a boss, are you? You're just a, you're just a crazy encounter. Mini boss, I guess. Oop. There's the head sweep. The head swoop. Seems to. Some of these animations seem borrowed from uh, the Royal Rat Authority. The head whip in particular reminds me of that. Having some range problems. Honestly, I think the giant wolf is throwing up my, off my depth perception about how far away I think he is. He's fast. It's kind of hard to keep in melee range because he keeps dashing everywhere. Ah. Did he just abandon the fight? Oh, hey, there's another wolf. <laughs> is he limping? Or is he have tr having trouble with footing? No, he's not limping. I think the game's just trying to make his feet realistically touch the ground and he's kind of flipping around. Are you gonna attack me? Or are you like the last one? That's interesting. He didn't fight me during the whole boss fight either, that he's just been kind of hanging out in the back. How about you? Oh, this is... This is interesting. We have alternate AI patterns here that they designed just for this. Oh, that's cool. They don't they don't vary their AI enough in some cases, because everything wants to kill you, obviously, but... These are just creatures. And like, at some point they do back off. I would have... Maybe recommended doing that a little sooner, but still. So we have two paths. We have this spot down here. The other one that goes up the hill, which I think would probably loop back around to the beginning of the, of the dungeon. Or the DLC. Oh. Look at these guys. They're soldiers with bows. Guarding treasure. Or some kind of item. And they're with the, they're with the wolves, which seems to suggest that they don't fight. So if I go around... I'll try to listen for them to see if they come after me. But so far those two seem to be content to back off. It makes me wonder if those ones aren't even part of the pack? I don't know, it's weird. There seems to be a weird symbiotic thing going on between a pack... Hello. Oh, they're moving now. Oh, they're moving now. Okay. Okay. Oh, did the floor just crack back there? Let's just get them all behind me real quick. 
So we when we originally domesticated wolves, their the part they played in that's a lot of fire. The part they played in human camps was basically as sentries. Oh no, that's probably not a good thing. Ah, oh. Well, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> Severe.